Did you know that this guy is Oslo's first city farmer? Meet Andreas. As a city farmer, I really want to make people put their hands in the soil and get dirt under their nails. And I really want to show people that it's perfectly possible to grow food in the city. I grew up on a farm growing vegetables, so this is something I've done my whole life. And it's an integral part of me, and that's how I set roots. And when I lived in the city, I didn't see the opportunity to, to grow food here. But other people have shown me that it's perfectly possible. So what is this place? Welcome. So Nusæter was just a pile of gravel that was given to the city population so that anyone with a passion around something green and growing could come here and fill this urban space with those plants and with their passion and share it with the city as a whole. Like this guy, Tim, a horticulturist from Great Britain. Together we went to a home for people with dementia. They've made this sensory garden and a sensory garden is where they can hear, smell or look and uh, that might bring back old fond memories. Really, really fantastic to have them down here, to see how they thrive, working physically and to be able to give back something meaningful to the city. Lossetid produces over 300 kilos of fresh fruits and veggies per year. But where does all that food go? Five o'clock every Wednesday in August and September. Anyone can come down here, pick the foods that we grow, cook together and share this meal together. You know what else brings people together? Politics! Yeah, when we had the Minister of Agriculture down here and he sowed slash and burn right together with the leader of the left party in Norway and we made them compact the soil over the seeds using our ritual penguin walk. They were sowing the seeds of the future together in perfect harmony, far away from the quarreling of everyday politics. How green is Lossata's future? Hmm. Well, the future here is for sure it's bright green, but it will be filled by someone who we don't know yet, who will come down here and who knows something they really want to share with the city people. And I'm really looking forward to meet that person and see what this place will be next year and in the years to come.